Hey there guys, welcome back to yet another video. So today's segment is going to be focusing on something I'm going to be calling Tool Tuesday, where I show you guys special tools that I use here at the shop and on certain occasions. Today's topic is going to be focusing on removal and installation of rear trailing arm bushings on your E36, E46, and E85 chassis cars. This tool is very well thought out, very versatile. So without further ado, let me show you what it's all about. And here we are. It's a tool set from uh, KTC Auto Tools. Like I said, it's designed to remove those bushings for E36, E46, and E85 rear axle cars. We're going to go ahead and open this thing up and check it out real quick. You'll see it comes with instructions, which I laminated, so I don't get it all dirty. Here's the instructions. Very nice, well, very easy, uh, nothing crazy. But it's an overall great tool. It makes this job absolutely easy and just it's straight phenomenal. So we have various couplers. Uh, and press fitting stuff like that to remove the bushings and reinstall them two threaded rods obviously to work the tool this is your main piece here with a with a bearing in it to help keep things working smooth so yeah i'm actually going to grab this trailing arm i'm going to put it in the vise or put it on the table and show you guys how this tool works and what all bushings it will remove and like i was saying it's very well thought out uh, i see this see how this that this piece is like slotted right here has this has this angle on it that's for good reason, and I'll show you exactly what these small quirky things are designed for, so let's do it. And here is a rear trailing arm from a 330i. Uh, however, these bushings are all the same for a 323, 325, 328, 330, you know, they're all the same for E46 and E36, these bushings. Your first well-known bushing to go bad is this main bushing here. It's just known as an R-tab, rear trailing arm bushing. It goes up into a pocket into the body like right here somewhere. My tool cart's in the way, but it goes in right about there. Whenever this bushing goes bad, it leads to a lot of deflection. It messes with your toe. They get soft. They, they, go, they go bad about... They, they, it varies where you live, honestly, how bad the road conditions are. I've seen these last over 200,000. I also see them last like maybe 100,000 before, before they start cracking and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to try moving this on camera. It's very easy to move with my hand even. So this is going to cause issues with your toe, rear tire wear. It's going to feel like the, the car at the back is going to feel like it's, like it's wandering on the highway, like it's, like it's kind of walking on you. This bushing right here is usually the culprit. Whenever it goes bad, it messes with, with deflection and toe, like I keep saying. So and then you also have these bushings back here at the back of the trailing arm. This one goes to the upper control arm, leaving the subframe, as you know. It's, a, it's an aluminum arm. goes up to it. And then you have your lower bushing here where the camber arm goes to. Those, uh, they call them salad tongs, very uh, weak steel for good reason. Actually, we grab one right now. This right here, this is your camber arm, okay? It runs down to this bushing just like this, like that. You can see they're very thin metal and they're always breaking. That's for good reason. This is uh, a fuse, if you will, for the rear suspension. BMW designed this week on purpose because they want this thing to break first before any other vital component snaps. So these like to rust because they're so thin and they'll break prematurely. But just to know it's for good reason. So you're not actually breaking anything else. So we're going to put this back on the ground. But yeah, back to this tool now. This tool will, will remove and install all three of these all three of these primary bushings on your rear trailing arms. Uh it, push, it pulls them out like butter. It also installs them like butter. I can I can use a hand wrench to remove the tools and remove the bushing stuff. That's how nice it works. So uh, you go to the picture here, and depending on which bushing you're working on, like here's the removal of the first top bushing. They have everything numbered for you. Uh, you know, seven is the... Seven is... Where's the seven? It might, it might actually just be there. Oh, it's right here. That's the nut. You just, you know, you follow the picture and you go through the tools and select everything. So, real quick, we need uh, 6, 7, 1, 8, 9. So, here's 6, 9. It's going to fit right inside there like that. Like that. And you look at the direction it goes in. So, this is going to be going in from the front of the trailing arm. The picture is kind of backwards to this example, but we're going to put it in here. I can do just like that that goes there and you take uh number eight which is going to be like the pocket that the bushing will fall into here's number eight right here then it should be number one if i'm not mistaken yeah number one this one has the bearing on it and this o-ring 
it's going to seat nicely inside of here. Like that. You take that, put it on there, one second. Feed this back through. Like that. And it goes over the boot of that bushing. Then you take your nut, obviously, and you, you know, thread it on there. And as you tighten it, the bushing gets pulled out and goes inside of here. It works really nice. Okay, so that was a quick demo of how to remove the bushing. Now, when it comes to installation, you're going to go to, obviously, the other picture, uh, installation. Duh. Yeah. You're going to get your tools back out. Once again, number seven is the freaking nut. I always forget it. it's a nut. Uh, number, what is that? Number... 10 again, or number six again, which is again, this just flat headed bolt. Now, when it comes to installation, these uh, these beveled cuts is what comes into play. So for the top, we need number 10, which is this guy right here. Now, once again, we have this bevel cut out on the top of it. See that slant? We also have this uh, angled cut here along the diameter of the tool. Those are for good intentions. So. This is designed to clear the brake dust shield. You stick it in there just like that. Clears that perfectly so it's not hitting. And then this is cut out on top so you actually eyewitness the bushing being press pressed in. Make sure the boot's not getting ripped or anything. You can see how far you're going. Uh, it's impossible to push in the bushings too deep with this tool because it's designed just to, to bottom out on the trailing arm. But that's just to help you, you know, like I said, to eyewitness, make sure you're going in straight and everything. So very well thought out. And I see other brands produce tools like this, but people keep saying that the tolerances aren't right. Things hit and everything. That's where this tool comes into play because they have these cuts for you made. Because it's designed to install these bushings, whether you're doing it on the car or off the car. So it works really nice. Then as far as removing the primary R tabs here, Basically the same concept, you're just using the bigger sizes. I believe this one to be the removal, if I remember. Yeah, this removal using this big fork looking one. I would push these bushings out for you and install new ones, but this trailing arm is obviously for sale on my store. It's a, it's a 330 rich, I have, I have both of them. And whenever you remove this bushing, it likes to break. And I'm not trying to buy new bushings just to sell this, you know what I mean? So. I don't want to damage any bushings by removing them. I'm not going to tamper with it. I just want to show you guys how this tool works and quick rundown. Now, the cost for this set, I believe, was $255. I know it seems kind of expensive. It really, it really does. But you're paying for a well-built tool that will pay, they'll pay for itself over time. If you and your buddies are using or you know have E36, E46 track cars, drift cars, if you're if you're uh, upgrading the bushings and, and uh, servicing the bushings every other track there or whatever, this toolkit, it works phenomenal. It just works great. It's definitely, it's 100% worth it. 100% worth it. No hassling with ball joint presses and all that stuff. Uh, just get the right tool for the job and you will be so grateful. Every time every time I use this tool, it puts a smile on my face because I know it's, it's intention is, is good and it works great. Now, the last video I showed you guys, I accidentally damaged my new bushing. That was my own fault uh, because uh, E46 M3s, they use this rotating style bushing, top and bottom, for better better handling. On the non-M cars, they give you a solid bushing like this. So I'm going to open this back up again and show you what happens when you use the wrong tool, the wrong part. This is not the tool's fault. It's my own fault. Because I naturally, you know, was following the instructions for the bottom one. I also followed it for the installation, which was a huge no-no. That's what happened. It broke my bushing uh, boot. Because it calls for, I think, it calls for number 14 to reinstall the lower. Number 14 is designed to go around the bushing like that, around the inner diameter metal there. So if you use that, if you use that tool, this adapter on the rotating style bushing, it's going to want to do the same thing. And that return is going to freaking collapse that boot and rip it. So if you're doing the M3 upgrade... If you don't want to ruin your new bushing, make sure you're using the proper tool. Simply by following the instructions up here, for also down here, you'll avoid this from happening. <laughs> Alrighty, that about wraps up today's Tool Tuesday. If you guys enjoy this little segment, please let me know and I'll continue to make more. Because I have some more tools to showcase for you. Uh, whatever you, Whatever's going to make your life easier, I'll um, be glad to help. Uh, when it comes to this tool right here, I'm super, super grateful that a company took their time to design this because I... I love it. I love this freaking tool set. 
So yeah, for now I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna get work on this video, get up, get uploaded for you guys to meet the dead, meet the deadline of Tuesday because it is Tool Tuesday, obviously. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna head out of here and I'm going to get to work. So I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.